Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tripos payment gateway with the Ingenico IPP320 terminal on your computer. The terminal comes with a 2-in-1 cable that will supply the terminal with both network access and power. Plug the power adapter into this 2-in-1 access point, like so. You'll then want to plug the network cable into an Ethernet port on your router, and the power adapter into a wall socket. Then, plug the 2-in-1 cable into the back of the terminal, like so. Optionally, you can lift the pull tab on the back of the adapter and screw the adapter into the terminal for greater stability. Once powered on, the terminal will run through its boot-up process and, assuming it's not already paired with another account, it will end in this activation code screen, and we'll use this activation code to add it to our payment gateway in a moment. Now that the terminal has been powered on, we are ready to add the gateway to our account. To do so, we'll click on Settings, followed by Payment Processing, followed by Add a Payment Gateway. We'll have to select the correct gateway from the drop-down list, in this case, Vantive Tripos, and that's going to open up the configuration form in order to configure this gateway. The first thing we'll need to do is name the gateway. You can name this whatever you like, but I'm simply going to call it Tripos. The next thing you will need to do is configure the gateway credentials. These credentials would have been supplied to you in an email. And I highly recommend copy-pasting them, because if these are off even a little bit, you will not be able to accept any payments. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Once the credentials are in place, we'll have a little bit more configuring to do. First, select the shop from among your shops you want to apply this gateway to. We'll select whether or not we want to allow credits. What this means is, do you want to be able to refund to a swiped card? rather than simply refunding back to the original card that was used to pay for the transaction. We're also going to decide whether or not to allow partial approvals. What this means is if there's only so much room left on a card, this will allow the gateway to approve however much balance is left on that card, even if it's less than the balance of the transaction. Finally, we will complete the credit card payment mapping. This allows you to, should you choose, map Visa to a more specific payment type. You can create payment types for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, so that these are reported on individually rather than all under the bulk payment type of credit card. I'm going to leave those at the default for now, and with everything configured, I'm going to click on Save Changes. And there we have it, a successfully saved gateway. The next step, which we are now ready for, is to add the payment terminal itself. To do so, click on Add a Payment Terminal. We'll once again be asked to name the terminal. Just like the gateway, you can name this whatever you like. I'm just going to call it Terminal. And enter the activation code, which you see on the screen of the terminal itself. You can also optionally enter a terminal ID but that is completely optional and really only useful if you have multiple terminals. You can go ahead and save changes. And once you do, we'll see that the terminal has been added and the terminal on the screen itself will advance past the activation code screen and should eventually find its way to a Tripos logo screen. Once you're there, you're ready to take a test transaction to make sure everything's working. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go to sales, followed by new sale. I'm going to add a miscellaneous charge of $10. And then here we can either click Payment or Quick Pay Card. It will ask me to select a terminal. We're going to select the terminal we've just added. Once selected for the first time, it will default to this terminal for all subsequent payments until told to use another terminal. So you only have to do that once and then click Start Payment. Once you click on Start Payment, you'll be asked to complete the payment on the terminal. Tap, insert, or swipe the card. Select the card type, 
and confirm the dollar amount. Once the transaction has been approved on the terminal, that approval will be sent to Lightspeed and you will get the payment approved check mark. You can then click Finish Sale. And there you have it. You are now ready to accept payments via credit card on your terminal. This concludes this video, but be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.